have a smelly pet? Does your dog stink? We are in the right place today, guys. Thanks for joining me. I am Amy Lee, certified professional pet groomer since 2003. But more importantly, I am your go-to groomer on the web. I don't want to waste much time here. We got a smelly dog, we got to take care of that. There's a lot of products that you have at home are geared to take care of this. Today I'm going to share with you some industry standard products in the grooming world that'll help you de-stink your dog. And we're also going to take a quick trip to the grocery store because there's one product there specifically that does the job better than almost anything out there on the market. It's been around for years. Very inexpensive. And it really works. And it's all natural. It won't bother your pet at all. Let's go shopping. I'll meet you back here. It is absolutely my pleasure to share with you the secrets of the grooming industry so you can provide quality care for your beloved pets at home. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell because together we are going to increase the bond you share with your pet and add even more value to their lives. Let's de-stink your dog. So we just got back from the store. We have that secret product that we were after. But first things first, let's get our dog in the tub and let's thoroughly rinse her before we wash her. Right now we're focused on removing as much dander, dirt, and buildup from your pet before we apply that secret treatment to them. Now it's time to thoroughly wash your pet. If you're not sure what products to use when you're washing your pet in the tub, I did a full review of great products available to you on the market. And I will link that right now in the YouTube card. Also, if you can't wash your pet at home because you're not properly set up, don't forget about those pet wash stations. You can certainly use the pet wash stations to wash your dog and to apply the treatments that we're going to go over today. Last step before we reveal that great treatment is we thoroughly rinse the shampoo off of our dog. The product that we are using today to eliminate those odors off of our pets is a feminine douche. That's right guys, let me tell you why we're choosing to use this product. Summer's Eve is a great brand and they have many scents to choose from guys. Check this out. If your dog smells because they rolled in something outside, something dead or some type of feces, they smell because they may have encountered a skunk, possibly go for this extra cleansing vinegar and water that might offer a little more power to break down those odors. If we're talking about odors like skunk odors, you guys are going to want to pick up a couple of these and probably repeat the process a day or two later. The medicated choice is one I would suggest if your dog is smelling because they have skin allergies, skin odors, and this can correct that. If that's the case, follow the steps in this procedure and repeat weekly until the issues subside. To ensure complete success in this procedure, guys, follow the exact steps that I am demonstrating in this demo today. Now it's time to apply the product. You really want to soak it in all the way to the dog's skin, especially if we're talking about serious smells from allergies or skunk odors. Soak your dog. You may want to buy two or three of these if your dog is, is a large size. Again, soak it all the way into the skin, guys. Massage it in there. Make sure it's getting all the way to their skin. Very important. Let's review the steps. We thoroughly rinsed Lucy, thoroughly washed her with a good pet product, thoroughly rinsed her again, and now we have applied our product. Give it time to work. Let's wait about 10 minutes. This is the perfect opportunity to allow for a little bonding time with you and your pet. Give her a nice massage while allowing that product to work effectively. Guys, depending on where you live, your dog may encounter skunks at times. This product will also take care of that for you. I can smell the results already, guys. Lucy is smelling very fresh. Now remember, we thoroughly cleaned her first. Guys, you know I don't often recommend human products for pets, but I will recommend that you wash your pet with this product, only if they are suffering from severe odors. However, use your pet's safe products around their eyes, nose, and mouth. If you choose to use this cleansing wash, use it in addition to using the douche as well. But first, 
Wash your dog with a pet safe shampoo. Now we've waited, it's time to thoroughly rinse Lucy one more time. Just rinse it off. You'll be amazed with these results, guys. This product is an industry leader when it comes to eliminating pet odors. You simply spray this on your pet after you've washed them and they get out of the tub. Towel them off first to remove any excess water. Then you'll spray a light mist all over them, avoid their eyes, and massage it into their coat and blow dry as normal. Smelly ears, the next task we are going to tackle together, guys. Now there are many different brands of ear wash solutions you guys can purchase. I recommend TropiClean products. They're good across the board. This is a gentle ear wash. Go back over here, they have a dual action ear wash cleanser as well that is geared for um, dogs that may get a little water in their ears, whether they swim or from you bathing them. So this would be probably the one I would suggest. Cleaning your dog's ears is quite simple and it really does help with a smell issue that you may be having in your dog's ears. They just need cleaned more often. You basically just really soak that cotton ball with the product and get in there as far as you can see. Meaning if you can see the dirt, remove it with the soaked cotton ball. Then get a new cotton ball, soak it with the product, and continue on with this procedure until you have removed all the debris from your dog's ear. The cotton ball is now showing clean. Leave me a comment, guys. I need your feedback. If you're trying any of these techniques or products that I'm sharing with you, I really want you to share with the rest of us if they've worked for you. I want you guys to know that I'm only sharing with you things that will produce winning results. Smelly breath. This is something that every dog is going to suffer from at some point in their life. Usually about the time they reach two, three, four years old and up, this becomes an issue. The product I'm going to recommend today is by TropiClean. It's called Fresh Breath. It's a cleansing foam. For best results, you're going to want to do this at least twice a week, guys. That's minimum twice a week. Brushing your dog's teeth is just as simple as it is for you to brush your own teeth, guys. You, you do it in the same manner as you would your own. You're not trying to irritate their gums. Only apply as much pressure as you would if you were brushing your own teeth. It will work if you do this two or three times a week. You can pick these toothbrushes up anywhere on Chewy.com, Amazon, many places, guys. They're very inexpensive. The health benefits to you brushing your dog's teeth are immense, guys. It definitely protects them from heart disease. These are the products we use today for teeth. Lucy's skin, ears, and teeth are so clean. I wish you guys could smell her. Next week's video is going to be a good one. You're not going to want to miss it. We are going to compare some brushes. I always tell you how important brushes are in your toolbox. So we're going to compare some of the top rated brushes out there available to groomers and to pet owners. We're going to do that on a golden doodle and I'll tell you why. Because that coat is so cottony, it's a dirt magnet, it's a, it's a hard coat to maintain. That's why I want to use a, a golden doodle as our demo for our, our battle of the brushes. I'm going to show you in a demonstration. Which one does a better job on that coat? Certain coat types can prove to be a lot more maintenance than other coat types. The Golden Doodle coat is extremely high maintenance. However, some brushes work great on a terrier coat, whereas you take that same brush and start going through a poodle and you'll be like, well, I don't really like this brush on a poodle, but I love it on a terrier. Those are the kind of things that we're gonna sort through together on this channel. Thank you for joining me, guys. I will see you next Monday. Have a great holiday weekend. It's Memorial Day. Enjoy.